Hello, Lock Sporters, Lock Cultist, Lock Stars, and Lock Fornication Artists. And this might work. Uh, anyways, I might want to try a different hook. We'll try this one. But this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. It's uh, going back to the days of Bosnia and Bill in the earlier stages of Challenge Locks. Uh, I'm kind of following a little bit of what... Uh, Pick Smith had did a write up about very interesting stuff, uh, tracing back the origins of challenge locks, and basically it just came as a little fun game. Locksmiths would pull with each other. Hey, got that one open. Anyways, which it wouldn't all that hard is low security bunker here hill confidence lock since I haven't been picking that well lately. But anyways, he had a. Uh, did research and everything, and basically it came out to a little fun game that locksmiths would do with each other by swapping out pins and everything else uh, to see, you know, what they thought about the, the picking experience and everything else. So it was just something just to change up the ordinary and made it a little bit different, a little bit more fun. Uh, well, anyways, uh, like I said, with Bosnia and Bill is a main component and to what led me into challenge lock making as well as lock knew himself with his his inspirational words of encouragement and also a good buddy of mine albert labelle so he helped me out as well on that especially when it came to creating uh rattlesnakes and getting them completed and made consistently and that was actually, you know, a great help. Awesome guy. If you're not subscribed to either one of these people, you need to be. But as, uh, but anyway, <clears throat> back on the subject. And when Boz and Bill had his uh, challenge lock, uh, where he's taking on challenge lock makers, it was basically a contest. You know, uh, the rules were 15 minute sessions, three of them, two of them off camera, one on camera. He was allowed to use whatever attacks he could to get the lock open without damaging the lock. Uh, the first 30 minutes, like I said, was off camera. And the last 15 was actually being filmed. If you beat him, you won. He'd send you a, a prize, which usually was a pack lock. Um, I don't know if he actually sent pics or anything else like that, but there could have been, you know, that uh, that that option. But I've seen videos where he's basically had, like, dust pouring out from raking and stuff like that. So he was actually damaging the locks. But then, you know, the locks, the, the pins inside the locks were beefier. Could handle a little bit more of the abuse than what ones can handle today. And uh, so for the most part, the challenge is really single pin picking versus raking and hybrid picking and everything else but by all means do not use snap guns and bump keys on challenge locks unless you build them yourself if you build them yourself and you want to really just wear and tear on a lock go for it um i've been wanting to do this for a little while because you know a situation came up and uh it's it still bothers me to this day so uh, yeah but anyways, um, moving forward and getting past that. So trying to um, create a universal set of rules. Basically, challenge locks are really the challenge is single pin picking. It's not about trying to get the open uh, with a challenge lock these days by any means necessary without destroying the lock. A lot of people take a lot of time, put a little bit, a lot of pride in their their work. Uh, so, you know, usually I say it's up to the challenge lock maker to make special rules. So basically, I don't know if I'm speaking for all challenge lock makers, but for the most part, single pin pick, you know. I've got some out there that you could hybrid pick a little bit, but as far as sawing and having dust come out the thing, and destroying the pins and stuff on the inside. Yeah, not every lock's going to be able to handle that, especially challenge locks. 
I've talked to uh, people who have took rakes to their own challenge locks and messed them up. So if you want to do that, make your own. Uh, I suggest using uh, factory pens that you can buy, like from Sparrows, or you can make your own spools, T pins, you know, tapers. You know, more of the beefier, stronger pens because a lot of them now have more intricate parts and usually some of them won't handle heavy tension. That's why I like to put no heavy tension on some of the ones that I've made, uh, especially if I don't think it's going to handle that. So I just kind of want to get the word out there. I've been trying to talk to more people about it off to the behind the scenes and kind of getting rid of a lot of the gray area with the approach of tackling challenge locks as far as picking goes. Now, if you want to rake and rock and everything else, bump, um, use factory locks that you buy that you don't mind trashing instead of, uh, you know, um, challenge locks. And it's really not good for that. And is that going to come or is that going to reset? Oh, there we go. And I got it. Heck yeah. All right. So, also, I'm going to make some more videos on some stuff I may have covered or may not covered. Um, with a challenge lock making. So, I'll be making uh, pens, I guess, on how to do. I mean, let me if I can grab it with some tweezers, 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 tweezers. Uh, crap. They're right here somewhere. Nah, I'm just, if I can get my hands on... I, these, this, this pair right here will work. Uh, I think, uh, yeah. These from previous video, zoom in a little bit. Not too far. There we go. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Yeah, well, I think this is the concentric rings, the rings on the inside, yeah. Yeah, these right here. Uh, show you how I make these. And uh, I think Pocket Woman on uh, Picking Time was talking about one of the pens I had made. Uh, she couldn't get to fit into like a challenge lock. She wanted to go to LPD. So I've got an answer for that. So stay tuned for that. If you want to watch it, that's cool. Kind of help you out. But that's pretty much about it. That's, this video has ran a little bit longer than what I wanted to do. But I hope you all have a great Memorial Weekend as well as a great Memorial Day. Um, this is for the people who, uh, you know, basically gave their lives for this country. And it just seems to be, I'm not really going off into all of that stuff. But yeah, anyways. Y'all, take care, be blessed, stay safe, keep it legal. Till next time, bye.